So this is going to be the funnest. <laughs> you know, it's going to be the funnest video podcast I've ever done. Because I'm with Jenny Croft. Um, buy a lotto ticket. Bought, no, like you bought a lotto ticket. But a lotto ticket. Jenny Croft, but a lotto. Bought a lotto? Yeah. There you go. Did there I you say go. it right? right? Whatever. Just call me Jenny. So, Jenny is, uh, you were Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, Miami Heat dancer, Phoenix Sun dancer. You were the final two, we got to talk about that after some real estate, of Bachelor season 11. Was it emotional? Um, yeah, I cried a lot. <laughs> oh, okay, we're going to talk about it. And then you own Pretty Chic Unique Women's Clothing Boutique. I'm a little offended yeah. that you don't have men's clothes. Come on. I mean, I do. Like, I run, like, stuff for men every once in a while. Well, I'm every once in a while. I want to wear some Jenny Croft Pretty Chic Unique Women's Clothes. Okay, I will <laughs> get you a t-shirt. I okay, I, I, I want a shirt. So you, uh, we got to start out. We'll get into all that other stuff later. Uh, okay, we got to start out with it. the real estate stuff because I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick you a little part on the dancing a little bit after. Is that okay? You're gonna. Yeah, I, I have some questions about the cheerleading, the dancing, that sort of thing. I have some oh, questions. Oh yeah, I'm in. I'm in. So you guys, are you, you, where do you live? I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. How many kids do you have? Ooh, I have three kids, eight, six, and two. Well, that's got to be a handful, and then running your clothing line. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, do you do you make all the clothes? No, I um I order wholesale, and I have a couple of vendors that I really really like, and that's it. So I find all the good stuff and sell it for inexpensive. So you guys can have high quality, inexpensive, beautiful pieces. Okay, so every time I see you on social media. I'm thinking, oh, there's my friend. And then you're trying on these clothes and you're dancing that you're marketing your clothes. Yes. Okay. Is that why you're trying to get a bigger house? Is the business going that, that well? Uh, well, my, I work out of my home office. So, um, I mean, yeah, I pretty much have no more space. <laughs> so what, what, what However, do you do? A... This was supposed to be my husband's office when we first moved in and yeah, he, he can't even work in here anymore. <laughs> so what's a day at home like for you working then? Do what? What's a day at home like for you working? Oh my gosh. I get up at like five o'clock in the morning, sometimes six, sometimes I do sleep in. Um, have a coffee, jump in the office. I upload new pieces to the boutique. I get and post them on my VIP social or Facebook page and then... Um, I do photo shoots for the pieces that come in because I try everything on and then I ship packages like a crazy lady. So when you get out of bed, is it hard to get out of bed? Like, oh, or are you just bing, bong? And like you're like, because I, I feel like you don't even like touch a sheet. You just oh, boom. You're oh, out. no. My alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, my gosh, we have got to get up. And then there are some days when I'm like, I'm just going to lay here because no kids are awake and it's really nice to just do nothing while everyone's sleeping. You should go jump on their beds. Get up. Yeah. No. <laughs> so I seen you on, uh, well, obviously the bachelor, but I seen you on TV too, uh, marketing your clothes. Were you on, uh, what network were you on? I do, uh, fashion segments for ABC. Uh, it's like a daytime I don't know. They do all kinds of stuff. So they do fashion, they do health, that kind of stuff. So I'll go in every couple of months and show like a line of summer clothes or, and just show like the differences between the brand name and a knockoff, like look alike shoe or something like that. Okay. So when you go your next time you get there, if we're allowed to travel by then, cause of this whole cove, I hate saying the word, I'm going to fly down there and I want to be the male model for your new men's you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm and in. I, I'm so in. Because I've never <laughs> seen a cactus before. I've never been to Arizona. I can't believe that. I don't believe it. <laughs> have, have you seen snowmen? Yeah, I'm from Wichita, Kansas. Oh, I don't okay. Know what a so I can't make. <laughs> but a cactus is so much cooler than than snow. So I hate snow. I hate it. Uh, it's I, I'm I we don't get even like a drop of snow here. So I don't even know if my kids have seen snow. Yeah. 
There's nothing to miss. People will go get excited. It's worthless. It's pointless. Okay, so you're looking for what's your house? What's your house worth right now? Because I'm a real estate I, guy. We got to base this on something. It's fun to talk, but we got to talk real estate. I know, right? Uh, right now, so the communities that we live in, the homes are listing and selling for between 1.3 and 1.7. Wow, I've never sold a house more than 750, 800 thousand. Just the market that we're in. It, yeah, this is just Scottsdale, Arizona, and I don't think there is a house for sale under a million. Okay, so you, uh, you, do you hire a real estate agent? We do. One of my, well, my eight-year-old's best friend's mom is a real estate agent, and she is actually doing some fun stuff for us. Right Are now. we allowed to say her name? Who is it? Who, who, who? Tell me who. We should get video is. footage of this after. Her no? name is Monica. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that then. So do you, do you uh, now the big question, do you sell your house first? Then go find a house, or do you go buy oh, your house so, first? This is like the hardest question. Right? I sound like I'm ten. Right? It's the hardest question because we have three children, three children, and I run my business out of the house. And I mean, we have we have help. We have a housekeeper that helps keep the house clean, and my assistant comes every day and she picks up and helps ship packages and all of that stuff, but. I don't know if there is any possible way for me to keep my house looking show ready yeah. for when people want to see it if we're still living here when we try to sell our house, if that makes sense. Well, if your market's hot, 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 you don't have to be so fussy, but are you going to go buy a house first and then put your house on the market? Or are you going to try to work the dates out and do it all at the same time? I, I mean, the, the goal would be to do it all at the same time, but I literally don't know how I could. I would lose my mind if someone called and said, hey, we have people coming. Oh, it happens. We're That's what happens. Do it at 2 o'clock, and it's like 11, and I'll be like, ah, I have so much to do. I don't know how well, I would do it. Put those kids to work, Jenny. Can they dance and clean? Because your whole family's every time I see you, you're dancing. They could dance and clean. Something oh, yeah, like that. my kids can dance. <laughs> So when are you going to do this big move? When are you going to start looking at houses? When's Monica going to start booking appointments? We have been looking at houses for probably over a year. And you haven't found one you like? No. So you're tire kickers. Monica is like, oh, they're calling me again. Oh, they're going to look at houses and never buy. And my husband is very picky, which I mean, rightfully so. But there's just... Everything we look at, I like. And everything we look at, he doesn't like. So I, mean. I don't want to get into it like... A marriage debate here and the fights, internal know, fights so of like, your I'm family. Just like, you just go pick one and we'll move in. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've been a realtor for 28 years. I've seen it all. And it's like, okay, I'll step back. Oh. You, guys, you guys figure it out. Just, just give me my own office and a bigger backyard and I'm good. How many houses yeah. would you look at a month or do you just? Oh, random. It's, I mean, this last month, maybe only three. Okay, so you're yeah. looking at two or three a month. So one's going to pop up. Right? When will pop up? Like, when will come on the market? What's that face for? Why do you give me that face? I hope no. so. Here's the thing, though. Every time we find a house that we may possibly like, something needs to be fixed, obviously, well, which is not our jam. And he just always goes back and says, I just don't really know if I really like the vibe or like the feel of living in someone else's house. So... You know, Ooh, and you can't build right now. You might now. be building. <laughs> yeah, but building is way expensive right now. Like it's expensive. I know it's so it's crazy. Why don't you we just, just? We've looked at a couple of lots that are insane, and they're not even. You can reserve your lot, but they're not even going to start building for like a year and a half. Yeah, and then by in a year and a half from now, you're going to be uh, a hundred thousand over and a half, budget. Oh, I need a bigger house. <laughs> yes, stop having kids, Jenny. Stop, stop. <laughs> I'm assuming Please, it's the yeah, dancing that's leading this to this. It. We're done. <laughs> so um, why don't you just modify your house? Like why Like why don't people do that? Why don't they just look at what they don't like about their house and do an extension? Or if you like where you're at, build a quadruple garage for your business? Well, we can't. There's not enough space. So we live in a community of 50 homes, and literally our house takes up almost the whole lot. Okay. We have a three-car garage. We have a small backyard, which, like, how do you add on to that? 
Well, you have to go up, but then you don't ne not necessarily want to go up. But we right? can't go up because we can't because of the community that we back to where our lot is. It's not allowed to build up. Oh, well, they say that. Just take the chance. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do it on the weekend when nobody's around. No. <laughs> I mean, you, when we first moved in here, we did want there was a model with an upstairs like uh, what's it called? Bonus room. Okay. And it's like as big as the house and you could build up there. But this lot, it was not allowed. So. Do you guys have basements? Like, do you have a basement underneath your house or are you no. on a foundation? I'll see every, most Canadian homes, we have a basement. I know that's how Wichita is, but Arizona, nobody has a basement. Yeah. You could just drill a hole, make a big secret room down there. It's dark I, and dingy. I, well, though. Most of the homes here are like ranch style. So just one level. Okay, so your husband, he's a big, uh, do we, are we allowed to talk about him? Yeah. What's he do? What's he do for work? He is a cosmetic and family dentist, and he is the team dentist for the Phoenix Suns and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Okay, well, you would think he would be the dentist for the Coyotes, the Arizona, because the hockey teams, we all need dentists. <laughs> I have no teeth. I know, he has been asked. The arena is so far away. Um and he would have to be at every single game, all of the game, like the whole entire game. That would be incredible. I got a producer sitting right over here to the left, Dave, who's the biggest Arizona uh, Coyotes really? fan on the planet. He's going berserk. Like, imagine going to every game, Dave. He, he's go, he's, he's going to oh have a gosh, problem. We'll, be... we'll send me something for him. Okay. You know, just send me something for him. So we're going <laughs> to we're gonna, we're gonna podcast, podcast, whatever you call it, again because we want to stay updated on your house stuff but okay, you're deal. so if you're married how could you be married and be on bachelor season 11 seems very confusing but season 11 aired in 2007 oh, okay so you met him after after the season because you weren't one of those girls that was dating while you were on the show no because that wasn't. they, they take a lot of grief i didn't start dating john until 2009 I, i'm just teasing you by the way you and we got that. married in 2010 so how was the how did you audition do you can we talk about the show i am um well i am with a modeling com uh <laughs> i don't know how to say it i'm with a modeling you have an agent agent here and they do go through those a lot and then they have you submit your video and oh happen. okay so you you are already had the agent before you submitted to go on bachelor yeah season. it's just a modeling agency yeah. like i do photo shoots for magazines and posters and billboards and stuff like that yeah i do the That's same probably not as much as you cuz there's not a lot of demand for guys like me in canada backwoods hillbillyville right <laughs> not that we're all hillbillies here <laughs> You are not. You're silly. <laughs> so uh, you, you auditioned and then you got a call. I did. Like literally went to my interview. It was an on-camera interview. And then like the day after, they're like, okay, like you're in. We're going to fly you to LA and you're going to, you have to, you have to go through so many tests. Like, like, a, like a EKG, you have to go through like a, a psychology test. Like you have to sit with and a you psychologist pass that? and like, answer all these questions <laughs> it's so crazy yeah so how long did it take to get fully approved and know you were actually getting on the plane and going i would say a couple of weeks wow and then so wow. then you if you made it to final two how long do you guys film for 60 days 40 days um no no like two months maybe well that's what i said 60 yeah. days 60 yeah. days I mean, I'm trying to think. So it's 12 rose ceremonies. So six weeks, maybe. I think we were, I was gone for six weeks. Six weeks. So that's 45 days. Oh, you were so wrong. So I was so close. Oh, I look like an idiot. <laughs> so did you really build feelings? Like, I mean, that's the big question, right? You, yeah, you so had I to. I feel like the main thing with that is that, okay. This is how I equate it. I have been a cheerleader and a dancer and um, in groups of women my whole life. So competing to be in the front row, competing to be the best dancer, competing for spots, things like that. So me going into a house full of women, it almost feels normal. 
I'm, I'm used to that. Yep. And there's other girls who are not used to it. So when it comes to building the feelings, if you're used to being around all these women and knowing like what you have to do and how not to speak negatively and how to be positive and look good on camera and all of that, um, it almost becomes like you just like almost want to not, not win. Does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I, I'm not sure. I, I guess I'm not even admitting I want. In the moment when you're like stuck in that moment and all you do is think about him and talk to the producers about him and talk to your friends about him, then you're like all about him and you totally fall in love. And then when you leave and you look back, I left the day I left. I called my mom and I said, mom, I don't even know if I know that guy. <laughs> That's crazy, eh? I, and I'm not even admitting I watched the show. Just, I'm just saying. You've never I, watched I, it? I, what's it called? Bad to, but what? The Bachelor. You're so, I have it on DVD. If you want. <laughs> okay, you can DVD. You're showing our age. You're supposed to say memory <laughs> chip or you'll fax it to me or something. Oh. So uh, then uh, you're doing something else now. Uh, you were telling me just the other day. What's go, What's happening with the whole nation? There's a nation or something of bad... Bad. Oh, they're doing a whole like uh, best seasons of all time. And I'm going to do a little interview with Deanna and Brad and some of the producers. So when when's that air? We got to know. We want to know. We want to know when that comes um, out. I think she said July 13th, but that's up in the air. It's not like for sure. OK, well, keep me posted. Deal. I will. For sure. So how did you become a, uh, a cheerleader? I, OK. This is a long story. Let me get comfortable. Oh, boy. You're giving a pillow, Dave? Actually, I've been dancing my whole life. I've been dancing since I was three years old. And uh, I actually started dancing because one of my feet were, like, turned in. And my dad was a DJ, and he met this dance teacher at a radio or, like, a record store. Sounds really romantic. And then I started dancing and went through, I danced and cheered all through college. And my college cheerleading coach said she was going to go to Dallas and try out for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. And I was like, I mean, can I go with you? <laughs> so I went, I, we tried out, I made it. Did she make it? No. Oh, there's some drama. That sounds like a TV show there. No, she's still my best friend in the whole wide world. Yeah, so. after two weeks of crying, um, she didn't like, show you. Yeah. That's not Monica, right? The real no, estate. Monica, okay. No. <laughs> no. So it started from there. How do you uh, re respond to people that think, and I hope I'm not going to offend you here, that cheerleaders in a whole, it's derogatory towards women and it's, you know what I mean? How do you feel? Like, what do you say to them? Honestly, I have always been such a positive person, outgoing. Um, I don't know, even know what the word is. I talk to people. I. Do you I know what I'm getting at, though? Do you know what I'm saying? Like how like people look at girls that are cheerleaders just as like objects. Objects, yeah. Like what? Yeah. I mean, if you meet somebody, you will obviously see that they have work ethic, drive, talent, um, athleticism. You have to be very smart and time time conscious. Um, when you're a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, you have to have either a full-time job, be a full-time student, or you can be a full-time mom. Um, but you can't just be a cheerleader. So they don't allow you to just just just, just be a cheerleader if that makes sense. And and I will you guys are athletes. Like the things uh I can tell you right now you could not do what what we did. No, I've never. Well, I can't <laughs> dance like a two step. I don't know if the bigger the steps means the more a uh, harder dance, but I can't dance. So I yes, obviously I can't do it. But I I see the stuff you guys do it's yeah, incredible. I mean, being a cheerleader for the NFL or the NBA is uh it is so much work it is literally your life every single day you work out you eat right you're healthy you you work you have to make money because when you're a young cheerleader I mean I was 22 like you got to figure out how can you support yourself and be a cheerleader at the same time because being a cheerleader does not pay very well at all it just if, when I cheered we made $50 a game and $100 an hour for appearances 
which was not all day every day. So. Yeah. Did you guys, uh, did you get to know the players? I guess that would be one question everybody asks, right? No, they keep it very, two very separate entities. Plus it is uh, against your contract, <laughs> completely against your contract to um, fraternize with anyone within the organization. Okay. So where did you, uh, you, you, uh, then you went to Miami and then Phoenix or Phoenix and Miami? Yeah. So after I cheered for the Cowboys, I went to Miami and I cheered for one year, uh, the year they won the championship. Well, that must've been exciting. And then uh, I went to Phoenix and I cheered for the Suns for three years. Did you, was it hard leaving? Um, yes, it was very hard leaving. And I think now after having three kids, um, I, um, I crave that um, self care and self motivation that it gives you. Um, so I just keep dancing and so maybe where... one day I'll try out again. <laughs> well, how far are you away from the stadium now? Oh, from the Cardinals? Yeah. No, no, uh, from uh, from uh, the Suns. Phoenix Suns. Oh, Suns, but not very far. I, I wouldn't try out for Suns again. If I, if I ever danced again, I would try out for Cardinals. Cardinals again. The baseball team? No, the football team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I was thinking of the St. <laughs> Louis Cardinals. I don't know why I thought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Arizona Cardinals. Yes. Are we going to yeah. have football this fall? Oh, yeah. I mean, like all the teams had virtual tryouts. So all of the um, all the cheerleaders have been chosen. They're all going through their tra training camp right now, getting ready for the football season. So I mean, I think they're all very hopeful that everything will happen. I hope this doesn't come off selfish. Go try out for the Cardinals, then right. send us tickets. You will, you're not the only person that will say, hey, you're a cheerleader now. Give me, can I get tickets? Oh, I, I, you don't have to give me tickets. I'm just joking. But did you, uh, did you, did, did you guys have tickets to give away every game? Like, no. So, like with the um, Cowboys, your family could buy season tickets in the family section but there's no there was no discount like you didn't get like cheap so, seats but can't everybody uh, buy season tickets or are they sold out no i mean they offered just there's just a section in the uh, stadium that is family and friends for players um for the dancers and that kind of stuff so um but sons our our uh athletic director would give us tickets every once in a while and um, but again, those tickets are not always, they're, they're not free. Like you don't, you're not a cheerleader and get free tickets. Like, yeah, it's kind of like the players don't get a ton of free tickets either. They get their tickets and then if they want additional tickets, they have to buy them. So you as an athlete, you must have really enjoyed the routine, the structure, the workouts. You know how you get in that focus of every day leads to a next day. So you got to work out today, eat right. You, you must have just thrived in that. I did. I, I feel like oh, that's that's kind of where I was going with the whole having three kids and then like craving that. It's not really like the dancing in front of a crowd at a basketball game thing. It's more of the the motivation to. Well, you're an athlete. Stay, yeah, to stay lean, to like have a goal, like I'm working towards this. And that's, I've always been like that. Well, you... So what I do do is try to find things that give me those types of goals. So Last two months, no, in February, I did Dancing with the Stars of Arizona, which is for the Kidney Foundation. And um, we did three months of ballroom dance classes. And then we performed at a gala and raised, I had to raise like $25,000. Well, that must have been a blast. For the um, organization. But then I also won. I won. So then uh, you obviously started a business. Why did you get into the clothing? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I mean, before I had, well, before I started having kids, like right after I got married, I worked for a real estate, a healthcare real estate investment trust. So I did events and set up booths and did events. You worked in real estate? And that kind of stuff. And then I started working from home. I did um, an MLM and I was really good at it and really successful. And then- What's an MLM? Like, you, let's step back. What's an MLM? MLM. What about it? What What is an MLM? I don't know what an MLM is. You don't know what an MLM no, is? No, tell me. Or network marketing. So a multi-level marketing. Oh, no, no. Okay. I did. Keep, oh, 
Okay, I keep did. going. I was good. So I did that from 2003. No, 2000. I don't even know. Okay, we it does. Okay, when did you quit? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I want to hear a story how you got into the clothes. So you quit that. Yeah, so I quit that, but I was working from home. And then I got pregnant with the third kid. And Oh, you got to stop with that. That's such pregnant. a waste of time, all these kids. <sighs> okay, keep going. Sorry, I interrupted. You did. But how many kids do you have? Two? Two girls. Two. Three. Two girls. They're 25, 23 now. Don't show your age. Oh, sorry. Okay, keep going. Sorry, I will cut you off. I will cut you off. It's no, just so, so exciting. I was pregnant with Mia, and I was about two months from having from having her, and I felt like superwoman. I was like, what else can I do from home that, you know, keeps me busy and gives me an outside purpose from my children and my husband, if that makes sense. Um, and then I said I was going to start an online clothing boutique. So I started a Facebook group, a VIP group. Ooh, a and VIP. I've been in business for three years now, and I have a little over 12,000 members. And it's crazy, and I can't even keep up. And I have an assistant, and she works 40 hours a week, but I still like feel like I could use a little more help. <laughs> Why is it growing? The last two months have actually been my biggest selling months of all time. Is that because of Cove? It is. I eh? think it's. I think it's because everyone's home and bored and shopping and. Well, I will say on social media, your energy because you are such a charismatic, fun, and you are super positive, and it it even comes through on camera on pictures, and so it's a rare thing people have, and and I would buy from you if you had men's clothes. Thank you. I right? do have men's clothes sometimes. I just did a dad shirt. It said badass dad on the front. We did a teal color and an army green color. And I think we sold like 78 of them. <laughs> 78? Yeah. Now, I want a unique one, like a one-off. <laughs> I'll let you create it. I won't be fussy. But then, uh, so when when's your deadline? Because you're growing. The business is growing. Right. Uh, are you going to outgrow this house soon? Oh, we're already outgrown it. So my, instead of, we moved my eight-year-old into our guest room, which I mean, it's fine, but we, we're not really like decorating it like it's his room because we're trying to find a new house. So we don't have a guest room. So when a guest does come, <laughs> Gio has to move out and he's got to move back into <laughs> Tayo's room. And then, so really we need a guest room. We've already grown out of the office and my husband will like his own office and we need one more car we have a three car garage so we could use four and then there is with three kids that are all into football and all and dancing and we just need more space like i need more i need a sport court oh. so i can send them outside and tell them not to come in until the, the sun goes down <laughs> i get oh. it okay so let's put a timeline we're going to wrap it up here let's put a timeline for monica monica we're going to get our new house make a commitment to it before when? Monica's listening. Before my husband goes insane? <laughs> no, well, let's let's put a date. We, we'll have fun with this, and we'll come back to it. Let's do a timeline. Let's see. Um, I don't know. By the end of the year, maybe? So before January. Ooh, that's a tight timeline. Are we going to have the house picked by then? We'll have a house picked. Maybe it won't close. Before and... we moved into this house, yeah. John and I, I was pregnant with Gio, Tayo, my second. And we looked at, in during one summer, we looked at 95 houses. Wow. Okay, so I, by the end of the year I then. I can do that again. <laughs> so by the end of the year. I don't know. Just give us a goal. Like So next year is like a fresh year. No, no, but you got to have a house picked out by January 1st. We're telling, we're making a commitment to Monica. Do you what? We're making a commitment to Monica right now. By January 1st, we'll have a house picked out. No? Yes. I mean, we're going to let my husband do that. <laughs> well, we'll need to have him on. And then we're also going to get Dave, producer okay. guy, something from the Phoenix Coyotes. Okay, right? we can, I can work on that. You're going to go become a dancer for the Cardinals. 
I'm going to get free tickets. But it can't just be all about what I'm getting. I'm going to come down and be a model on your show. So there, okay, I'm deal. giving back. I'll, that. I'll make sure next time I do <laughs> the fashion segment that I have men's clothing. Yeah, just just one piece. All I need is one piece. I'll fly down, do the one piece. Will you I'm wear out. a jumpsuit? Will you wear a romper? A male romper? <laughs> Does it have the flap in the back? Because it could be like, I'm trying to make life easier as I get older, Jenny. No. We don't get flap. We don't get a flap in the back. We have to get naked in the bathroom stall to pee. So. Oh, why do people wear those then? <laughs> the, they're like the most. They're they're like the best selling item in boutiques. But they're horrible to wear. Jumpsuits and rompers. Yeah, I mean, and bobby suits. Okay, so we're gonna come but back. They're, but they're cute, so we. Yeah, they are. They are cute. Yeah, we just go with it. My wife. My wife has some too. And I, I don't get it, but it's like, whatever. So maybe, maybe I will wear a male. I'll have to approve it. I'll have I'm to have getting, my people look at it, <laughs> you know, get the specs on it. We'll, we'll let you know. You know what? It was great. It was great talking to you. No, we, we, are we going to talk to you too. How are, fun. Are, well, we, we talk all the time, but we, are we going to do this again? Like on the camera? I'm in whatever you want to do. Okay. Monica, we're going to do our best here. I'm going to help you out. Monica okay. would totally like dish on how difficult customers we are oh i i know how i i'm already like i don't even know what to say because it's all being recorded look i it i feel i feel for her i'm going to send you a, a jumper monica i'm going to send you a jumper <laughs> okay so let's do this again thanks for being on the show and we i uh let us know when the bachelor thing comes out okay i will for sure okay, i'll send you the link so you can let us know it. what all the free stuff we're gonna get okay <laughs> Okay, deal. See you later. Bye. I miss, I miss you already. <laughs>